Now we've only really just recovered from the madness that is Yeezy Day. However, we cannot rest for one second because guess what? We've got a very important day coming this weekend. Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel Kings Down Roots. My name is Matt Rideout, R-I-D-O-U-T. And today we're gonna to be talking about quite possibly the most important day of the Nike calendar. Yep, we're talking about Sneakers Day. Now I don't know about the rest of you, but me personally, I thoroughly enjoyed Yeezy Day. I actually managed to pick up five different pairs of sneakers, which is got to be some kind of record for me. Generally, I thought it was very well executed and quite a fun day, with the exception of being in waiting rooms on the Adidas website. Please, 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 Adidas, get rid of that logic, that method. I think that that is terrible and it just wastes people's time. Um, but yeah, I'm really hoping that the Sneakers Day this year is going to be as good. So first things first, when is Sneakers Day? Well, it's the 8th of August 2021 and it's been the 8th of August for the last four years. So it's been pretty consistent. What time are things kicking off we really don't know for sure but for me personally I'll be checking things at about 7 a.m UK time now the next question that's probably on people's minds is what's actually going to drop what's going to happen on sneakers day what's it all about well we don't know 100% but we've had a few pieces of leaked information to say that there are going to be some pretty big drops happening on the day we've heard that there are going to be drops of Jordans Nike Dunks some collabs with Off-White and Travis Scott so these are all possibilities whether or not that's actually going to materialize is another thing. Now probably the most important question to answer is how are you actually going to be able to cop these sneakers on sneakers day? Well from previous years we can speculate again and kind of debate what will actually happen. My guess is there's going to be a whole host of different ways and opportunities to cop shoes on the day. Firstly there's going to be exclusive access for sure they've used this method time and time again and it's definitely going to happen on sneakers day. Be sure to be on your app as much as possible when you're going to get exclusive access you don't really know so make sure you follow those accounts that usually get the inside information first i will put a few links in the description of this video for a few different people that i tend to follow on instagram to get my alerts uh, and a few different groups i'm part of on discord so if you're interested in those be sure to check out those links now the second opportunity you might be able to use to get access to sneakers is going to be through scratching images nike and sneakers app have done this time and time again in the past as well all I can say is that be sure to favorite and bookmark your favorite sneakers and then on the day be sure to scroll through those images through the information of the sneakers and start scrubbing at images randomly I know it sounds really strange but that is genuinely a way to find out access to get to sneakers and what will happen is you will scratch an image and it will reveal another image underneath and then that will trigger the actual drop and allow you to purchase those secret sneakers whatever they might be the next method you might be able to use to cop sneakers on sneakers day is through sneaker passes now sneaker passes are a little bit unfair to some people because if you don't live in a major city then you don't really get access to sneaker passes and in the uk it's generally just london which gives you access to these sneakers in other countries I and mean, you know paris in france is quite popular on sneakers day and what will happen on the day is that you will just get a sneaker pass and you can reserve a sneaker click on it and pick up the sneakers the next day again this will probably happen once or twice throughout the day maybe even more so again be very active on your phone on the sneakers app to see when that happens now the final method which may or may not happen is physically being in certain locations in different cities. Now over the years, Nike and sneakers have used this again, where physically you have to take your phone and scan either a QR code that's on a building or a location, or physically you're in a location which then activates the sneaker drop. This has happened in previous years. It didn't happen last year for obvious reasons. Um, will this happen this year? I'm not entirely sure it will, but it is another option, another possibility of what might happen on the day. So all in all, I think that's all the ways we're gonna be able to cut the sneaker on the day but this year Nike is promising the day to be a little bit more than just dropping sneakers it's also giving people the opportunity for more content there's gonna be panel discussions and interviews and much much more on the app so I think Nike and sneakers are probably trying to move away from the day just being about sneaker drops and more about content uh, and delivering a message that Nike want um, which I'm all for I think the more content and more options we have available on the day will make it more fun and I'm all for that now I would love to hear what 
you guys are expecting to drop on a day. What do you think is going to happen? What are you most looking forward to? Drop it in the comments down below and I will reply to that. Uh, and on that note, that's pretty much it from me today. I've been Matt Rideout. This has been Kings Down Roots. If you've enjoyed my video, please drop me a comment and a like down below. It really does mean the world to me. You can also follow me on Instagram up here. I post a lot of content on there too. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.